All right, it's time for one of my favorite, and apparently the channel's favorite, based on the watch statistics things. It's time to open some mail. So we'll start with this little one that's labeled SMD resistor, and we'll see what we've got. Ah yes, this is a collection of little SMD resistors that I'll be using for a pulse width modulation and blinky light project thing with uh, 555 timers in the near future at some point. It's just a bunch of different uh, values. So that's a nice result. All right, now for this uh, big package from DHL. Let's see what we've got. We have a smaller package inside. Okay, well, let's open that one. My apologies to any headphone users. Let's see. The first thing we've got is... Ah, this is ostensibly a three-cell lithium-ion battery voltage indicator. So let's grab a three-cell battery and see what this has to say about it. Um, what can I use? I bet I can kind of maybe make use of this. Yeah, because I can do it from the front. So the positive is the inside one. All right, so we'll make yellow be positive for this. Clip that on there. Clip this on here. I know this is fully charged. So, if we put the negative on that side and the positive on this side, it lights up rather nicely. Although it says it's a little bit low on the voltage, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, I'll be integrating that into my solar charged battery bank thing that I'm working on. I don't know why I just peeled that off. I was, it always looks better when you peel off the little protective coating. All right, let's see what's next. Um, next thing, this looks like another one of those, um, yeah, this is one of those little power supply boards for uh, proto boards. You plug these, oops, there's a bent pin there. That's not, not good. There we go. But I have a, a couple of these. You just plug them into a proto board. Um, I should have one somewhere reasonably close at hand. Sort of like this one. Um, you just plug these in to the power rails on the outsides, like so. There we go. Um, oh, only this one is done this way. All right, so that would plug in like so. And then we can reach over here. Let's see, they're set currently to five volts. There we go. So if I put a voltage into this, the circuit should power up. Yep, and there we go. So that's nice. Um, this one doesn't have a power button like the other ones that I've seen have. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and unplug that and move on to the next item. Which is something that I've been waiting quite a while to get. Is these um, little Luxian Star aluminum backed PCBs for high power LEDs. And I'll be matching these up with these high intensity uh, infrared LEDs that I'll be using for a project for my Wii. Oh, look, another battery indicator. I think uh, Alice has taken to sending me extra stuff. Let's see what this one does. Let's see, it was positive to the inside. I wonder if these have reverse polarity protection. Yep, 
Same result. All right, that's nice. This is very attractive. I'll have to test its quiescent current later. All right, then we have this, which I realized after I ordered it, I didn't actually need to order these because I have the surplus of them from tearing apart dollar store battery packs, but it'll be interesting to see what the electronics on the inside of this are like. Let's see. Come on, open up. Eh. Being recalcitrant. There we go. Yeah, so it's, um, now this one differs from the ones that you find at the dollar store because instead of having uh, the rails where the batter or the batteries are just soldered on with the, the nickel wire, this one actually has battery contacts kind of style thing that you just drop an 18650 in there. So, uh, it'll be interesting to play with. I believe the other part of this project is actually in this bag somewhere, so we'll get to that eventually. Um, ah yes, these are for my signal generator, um, which I have over here. Oh, that's not it. Um, oh yeah, actually, because I removed the BNC connectors on it, but um, this is this used to have BNC connectors on it, but I didn't have a BNC way of taking the signal off of the signal generator, so I temporarily removed the BNC connectors. I'll be putting them back on, because now I've got this, so I can plug that in, and then it's got the terminals on the end. There should be a couple of these in there. Yeah. There's the rest of them. Alright, and then we've got a bubble-wrapped section of parts here. Let's see what we've got in here. Let's peel this tape off. It was very therapeutic. I enjoy opening these little packages. Um, there we go. All right, let's see. Got a bunch of small electronics going on here. So, let's start with this. Oh, nice. Okay, so this, I bought a bunch of, um, these ones are a little smaller than the ones I thought I was getting. Interesting, I'll have to check the listing. But these are the little chisel tip uh, soldering irons, or soldering iron tips that I enjoy using. There should be a couple of them in here, but um, I'll just dump that all out real quick. All right, this is, I believe, some MOSFETs. What do we have here? Uh, yeah, IRF 510Ns, just a fairly generic N-channel power MOSFET. Um, another soldering iron tip, also very small, but that's okay. Um, let's see, these should be LM317s. Some uh, voltage regulators there, adjustable voltage regulators. Uh, more IRF 510s. Um, more IRF 510s. And I'll bet this is more IRF 510s. So I've got more MOSFETs than I'll ever need. Uh, another batch, another soldering iron tip. Um, let's see, I believe these are signal diodes. I don't remember why I ordered these. I probably just threw them on because they were like 45 cents or something. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 4148 signal diodes. So fast recovery, low wattage diodes there. Um, what are these? Oh, uh, these are uh, temperature modules. These uh, sense temperature and put out a voltage based on temperature. Uh, these should be pick 12, 12F 628s. Yep. So some surface mount picks. Uh, this will be a little fun thing to make. Um, this is actually why I've got this. This is a 15 kilovolt 
um, a voltage generator thing. Uh, at least it claims that it's 15 kV. But uh, yeah, you've got some windings here that get all attached to various different things. Um, that's no instructions, so that'll be interesting to figure out how to put together. I'm sure there will be some, some instructions online. And then finally, this thing, which is a kit. Um, I should probably put these all back in a bag. Uh, to work on later. There we go. I'll just stuff all that back in there along with this. There we go. Alright, so this is a surface mount soldering um, practice board, basically. It's got a selection of various different sized SMT devices, a bunch of LEDs, some transistors, diodes. Um, I think that's a CD4017 because it does have a, a project here where it just makes the, the lights spin. Um, it's got some examples of various different package sizes and a ruler on the back. That's interesting. The only issue here is no instructions, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, so that's probably enough post bag for today. Uh, if you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here will be a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting based on your watching habits. Right here will be the post bag playlist, and right here will be the Patreon link that you can use to support more post bag videos and projects like this. Thanks so much. Bye bye.